And last last season I was able to organize. Sí, Ricklad, grabando. Vale. Hi, we are Team Summit, and here we are the five team members. I'm Emma Roca. I'm 47 years old, and I live in the Pyrenees in Belve de Sardaña um, with my husband David. Hi, I'm David. I was also the the crew in in Fiji, and I hope to be the crew again. Yuka. Hello, greetings from Finland. I'm Yuka Pinola, 43 years old. I live in Veikkola city nearby Finnish capital Helsinki. Albert. Hello, I'm Albert. I'm I live in 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 Banyoles, close to Girona, close to Emma's house, and in Spain. And and yeah, I want to race with my friends again. Fran. Hi, hi, Fran. I live in, in Galicia. Uh, How old are you? How old are you? Uh, 15. Two. 15. Two. Muy bien. So we are a very good team with veterans and also teenagers. So <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> why we do, we do this race? Uh, well, in fact, we've been in Fiji and we've been racing for many, many years. And this team is built it from other adventure races and experiences. So our next challenge will be for sure Patagonia. That's why we are doing this inscription. And what creates your passion for it? Uh, what it passions me to make adventure racing? It's uh, just the adventure to build with a team like this, with Summit Team, to have these experiences, get back home, to uh, achieve our challenges, uh, to build uh, these different uh, strategies to go through the first positions and yeah, above all uh, to have fun, also to suffer, but to have fun all together. Um, David, si vols dir algo? Perquè Fiji i Patagonia i no sé. Tu fer well, resistència? I like to, to crew these guys because they are amazing. They are like a family. And also, I would to like come back to Argentina because it's one of my favorite countries. And I think that will be again an amazing race. Yuka. Yeah, it's like my pleasure to compete with my good friend from Spain. And it's like we had a, have a fantastic time. Uh, we have known each other already, I should say, 20 years. And it's great opportunity to meet a good relationship with my friends and also to uh, get a great experience to feel it together. And that makes our family closer together. Not only you and me and my friends, only with our kids. We would like to share this experience together. For me, uh, it's, uh, last year was a great experience. We set the team maybe with the minimum time possible to, to do it. We did it fast. We know each other uh, for many, many years. We raced after 10 years and we were racing well. Uh, we did some mistakes because we didn't had we, we didn't use to race together again. Uh, this year we want to come back to Eco Challenge to the World of Race with the same team that we have a lot of potential, but doing the things better with more time to prepare the things and and to be more competitive and no mistakes this time. Fran, ahora cuál es la pregunta? ¿Qué te motiva? ¿Cómo ves el por qué quieres participar y tu relación con el equipo y la gente que estamos? Bueno, coño, la relación tiene que ser buena porque si no llevaríamos tantos años compitiendo juntos. Uh -huh. Eso está claro, si no las tiranteces nos, nos separarían y, y me motiva, me motiva a vivir, vivir la experiencia porque al final hay que vivir cada segundo como si fuera el último, como si fuera el último. Y si lo puedes compartir con, con gente con la que tienes feeling, feeling 
y en una situación que te ponga al límite, pues, pues muchísimo mejor, porque al final encontramos, buscamos el límite en cada momento a lo largo de nuestras vidas. Muy bien. Um, otra pregunta, another question is, uh, what is your relationship to your other teammates? More or less, we have answered this question. We are really good friends. We know each other from long, long time ago. And as Albert said, last year was settled the team very close to, to, the, to the start, but we knew for each other. Now we have more time to prepare in Patagonia and uh, we are an experienced team, so we will be no problem and we are a big family. Not only the team members, but also the kids and the wives and husbands that we are all around. When we really meet and do some training camps and it's, it's a big party, it's not only a sport, related it's it's also fun and, 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 and enjoy enjoy our time so I think for the team this would be uh, this question uh, otra pregunta uh, it's on resumen I just summarized but to be um, how is your team different than all the other teams what is unique about your team ¿Qué, qué nos hace distintos y qué nos hace únicos no en este equipo um, My opinion is that we are a very good experienced team and we have a very powerful mind, mindset. And also the skills in all the disciplines are really, really good. And then uh, we know that we can do it. So we have the, the best one. What makes us different from others? See, I also... I also um, think that we have a good balance between be as much competitive that we can and, and enjoy as much the place where we are and and we respect a lot the the yeah, we 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 take um, we, we love to be part of the scenario where we are and to know the people and and sometimes there are many things. Uh, more than the, the, the race that we we know how to enjoy a lot. Yuka, what do you think? Yeah, I think like 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 Emma said already, we have a lot of experience. I think there's not many other teams who has that much experience what we have in our team, and we have a, a long history behind of the these kind of races, and uh, somehow we have a like kind of new life with this sport. We made a comeback race last year in uh, Fiji, and uh, also I think we have a uh, kind of we know how to be on the top, but also I think we have a different kind of uh, uh, feeling how to try to enjoy these possibilities to do this kind of sport, and like it's no, it's not, it's not only. To get the success, it's also like be part of our heart and also our family's heart. It's this is kind of way to live, and it's like we would like to share with the good friends. And uh, also, I think there's a kind of uh, different thing. Like I'm from Finland, and three guys are from Spain. <laughs> so. We uh, we have a uh, during the race we have a uh, three languages, Spain, English and Finnish. <laughs> Especially when when we are tired, you try to speak Spanish for me and I try to speak Finnish for you. <laughs> exactly. Y Fran, ¿tú qué piensas? ¿Qué nos hace distintos y por qué tenemos el equipo que tenemos y eh, lo que nos hace distintos es que la media de edad y el número de hijos que tenemos en total pues es muy superior a todos los demás. Pero también la experiencia de vida. Nosotros vamos más allá de ser simplemente amigos. Somos prácticamente hermanos y nos gusta compartir todas estas experiencias que nos han ido curtiendo, han, han ido niquelando, le han dado forma y están llenas de muescas eh, todas nuestras experiencias y que cada vez nos unen más y, y seguimos teniendo la misma ilusión que hace, que hace 20 años. Pero aparte de eso, también es una muestra de que la diferencia de culturas y idiomas eh, no es un impedimento para, para, para compartir, disfrutar y, y vivenciar eh, experiencias como estas que son únicas. Muy bien. No, la verdad es que somos una, una suma de muchas culturas y, y lenguas. Um, 
What does it mean to come together as a group to raise an Eco Challenge and what is your goal for this race? ¿Qué significa ir otra vez juntos al Eco Challenge y cuál es nuestro objetivo en esta carrera? Well, in fact, we have a good experience in Fiji, but also bad one with the cold water. So I think for this next one, our goal is to do it better, to learn from the mistakes that we have done in, in Fiji, but also to keep on going our team spirit, our motivation, and as all the other team members said, to have the best experience ever and, and, and to, enjoy, to enjoy the time in, in Patagonia. And what is our goal? Uh, to be on the top to be there in front if it's possible and if not keep on going till the end this is our our goal yes and, and fran he has a special mission <laughs> in argentina is uh, to test new winter products winter products yeah <laughs> to avoid the hypothermia yeah for the cold <laughs> conditions <laughs> yuka what do you think the team yeah absolutely we want to be on the top and we know that we have possibilities to and skills to be on the top uh, on the top and uh, for sure goal will be on the podium and also anyway we will go we are planning to go to share experience together and enjoy even we will if we will get the mistakes so we will anyway we'll go over to mistakes and problems and we will go to Cross the finish line, but for sure our goal is will be on the podium. And Albert, what do you think? Uh, yes, I think the one of the goals is uh, to arrive there as much prepared as we can with uh, with everything, the logistics, uh, physically, technically, and this is a, a, a thing that I think it motivates us. Uh, a lot because we know that we can uh, set a very strong and, and solid team to fight there and then during the race uh, avoid mistakes and enjoy and if we avoid mistakes enjoy and are prepared <laughs> we will be there <laughs> it's perfect Fran, ¿qué piensas? ¿Cómo vamos pues... a y objetivo? Eh, llevábamos muchos años sin correr juntos y la verdad es que Fiji fue una experiencia brutal donde nos volvimos a juntar y, y sin haberlo preparado mucho, sin, haber llevado, sin, sin llevar mucho tiempo, llevamos mucho tiempo sin correr juntos, pues nos vimos con la capacidad a pesar de, de todas las, las carencias que la edad eh, puede traer consigo, nos vimos con la capacidad y la ilusión de estar adelante. Eh, tenemos que corregir un montón de fallos que, que hemos cometido y, y la verdad es que la gente, como en, en mi caso con, concreto, que tiene algo de trastorno obsesivo compulsivo, la búsqueda de la perfección es lo equivalente a la búsqueda de Santo Grial, que lo buscas toda la vida pero nunca lo encuentras. Exactamente igual. Eh, y por lo mismo, la búsqueda no va a cesar, pero la búsqueda en este caso de, de la victoria. Eh, es a lo que vamos y supongo que... que si hay alguna posibilidad hay que luchar por ella. Sí, this is one of the things that I think the team has that we fight till the end. So as a uh, like one chapter, no, in Fiji it was if we stop we die. So we know that we don't have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> pues nada, see you and see you in Patagonia. ¿Cuándo es? ¿Cuándo? We will be ready. Digas adiós, Fran. ¡Saluda! Yeah. Gracias, eh? Claro. Ok.